Hello YouTube, this is Morgan, Airspeed Prime, here with my next Star Wars Rebels episode review. This one's going to be for Season 2, Episode 13 or 14? Uh, is it... Hmm... Well, I, I, I'm actually not sure of the number. I think it's 13. Um, the uh, episode's titled The Call. And this is probably going to be my shortest Star Wars Rebels episode review, like, ever. Just because there's really not a lot to talk about with this episode, I thought it was a pretty major step back based on previous episodes that we've just had and given like the cool stuff that we're looking forward to this was just a very very average episode i don't think it was bad it was just it just felt a little out of place in the season it was another one of those episodes where there was one cool thing with the pergils but for the most part it was just an episode based around they want more fuel to help the rebellion, and that's it. That's a return to what they were doing at the very start of the season with just all these seemingly just kind of random little missions that aren't incredibly important because it's just like fuel supply missions. You get this tiny bit of information and stuff like that. That's what the plot of this episode was based around. So it, it really felt like the only thing that they had going in this episode was the idea of hyperdrives and the origin of them in the Pergils and they tried to base some sort of another episode around that and even then I think there's a lot of missed opportunities within the episode in the sense of like uh, the the rebels novel A New Dawn establishes that Kanan worked for the mining guild on a different planet and then there's absolutely no mention of him when he comes into contact with the mining guild here I thought there was potential to do something with that in the episode but they just didn't make any mention whatsoever of it. And they set up that Hera disliked Pergils because they seemed to get in the way and just do their own thing and have caused, I suppose, some of her pilot friends to be killed. And they just, again, didn't really go anywhere with that. Like, I felt that, that plot of just the fact that Ezra and kind of Kanan are the only ones to really support the Pergils and, like, um, not want to like take them out or anything like that it was just very overdone throughout the episode this idea that oh Ezra's the only one on the whole crew who can sense them and like I, I didn't like that they did that and then Kanan just had no inkling whatsoever of them coming it just felt like okay you're, you're trying to make Ezra special yes but why couldn't Kanan do anything to sense them in the force and when we know that Ezra has had some trouble connecting with animals in the past before, whereas Kanan doesn't seem to have that problem, it, it was a really weird episode that I think tried to do a couple of things and just completely missed the mark. Um, in the sense of like, okay, Ezra makes the connections to the Purgles at the very end, they save him, he makes the connection, and he's good with them. That, that's a nice moment of development, but they don't give us any idea about what the point of it really was um, in the sense of okay he can communicate better with animals which is kind of a development based on one of the episodes last season where he kind of had to go dark side to kind of control an animal to fight and so there's that but just didn't really feel like the strongest episode in the sense of like oh they're going for this thing where like everyone hates the Pergils except Ezra and that ends up saving them in the end now, the Pergils themselves were actually really cool animals. For an episode basically based around animals, this was actually a pretty cool species of animals to discover in that there's a certain lore aspect to them with the idea that hyperdrives, they're kind of implying that hyperdrives were invented because the first people who wanted to travel into space and had the, te the technology to make it happen saw Pergils basically being able to travel huge distances do this kind of jump mechanism to go to this to travel really far distances in a short space of time and decided that if they can do it why can't we do that with technology that is a really cool idea i think and um, of course i don't think this show is ever going to uh, nor does it need to i think go in depth in terms of explaining who in the star wars universe invented the hyperdrive and how exactly it came into existence but it's just cool to get a kind of animal origin story for an interesting piece of technology and um, in that ju just this idea that there are animals who can go into hyperspace and that 
it's not just this science breaking thing in the Star Wars universe that it is a kind of natural thing that some animals can do so th that was actually a pretty cool reveal and it was, it was it was definitely like the best moment of the episode in that like they're setting up something the whole episode with the idea that, that they're changing colors and like they have a connection to the fuel and uh, when they have when they dive into the fuel and I suppose take it in fuel up they um, change color and then at the end when you see the little things charging the lights is the same color as kind of the the hyperdrive lines when they go into space into hyperspace uh, when they activate it it was just this moment where you're like are they really going to do this are they really going to do this and then they jump away and they kind of disappear it was a really actually cool moment because there was no obvious build to like that this was obviously going to be the thing so until it actually happened you didn't actually fully believe that this is where they were going so that was definitely like a, an interesting reveal but as the only like big moment of the episode it was a little bit just like okay that, that that's cool but like are we really going to praise this episode come the end of the season for giving us this, a hint about the origin of hyperdrives like cool moment but that's about it the rest of the episode very much was kind of a little I, I don't think it was written the best I think they really didn't have much of an idea about what they wanted to do here and it just ended up not working too well for me and um, the only other things I want to talk about there was, there was a pretty cool action scene where like um, it was uh, Ezra, Kanan and Sabine with the, with the help of Chopper they just do the kind of skydive onto the planet. That was a, a pretty cool scene, just seeing them dive down with the Purgles and make the landing. It was uh, that, that was actually a nice moment, but, you know, nothing with regards to the action in the rest of the episode was all that interesting. Um, the people in charge of this mining guild operation, again, not very interesting characters. They're just there to be kind of greedy businessmen type thing. Um, and then, as, as I said before, the, the whole Hera thing felt like they set it up and then went nowhere. Like, I thought they were going to, like, in some way hint that she lost someone, like, very close to her because of the Purgles and make it very personal other than just, I lost a bunch of friends because of these type of animals. And that's why I hate them. Like, it, it's a very simplistic and just, like, sudden reveal that doesn't go anywhere so I, I felt that was kind of a badly written kind of thing to have in the episode to set that up and then don't do anything with it but then not like oh she gains a better understanding for them at the end of the episode because of Ezra but that's that's really about all there was to talk about in this episode it was it just there wasn't a lot going on and that's a that's a bit of a mistake like like every episode I think should have some importance this one didn't really okay the rebels got some fuel but like are we ever going to like reference this fuel again it just felt like an episode for the sake of an episode and one cool idea and that's that's really all there is to say about it again like I've been saying at the end of all of these videos and um, these episodes are a little bit kind of like uh, it's, it's a little bit easy to be very critical of them because we know that there's such amazing cool stuff coming down the line but like as we go, get through the episodes it's becoming more and more clear that okay this is all this stuff is happening in like the last like five episodes rather than like the first group of five episodes then so like hopefully we get to them sooner rather than later and that I, okay, I, I think the, the the last episode that's going to just be, I suppose, the last couple of episodes that are just going to be sort of, like, good but not, like, amazing are probably going to be uh, Cham Sindula's reintroduction, though I think that has potential to be quite good, and the episode where Zeb and uh, Callus get stranded on a planet, that has the potential to be very good, but it's the stuff like um, Kanan and the Jedi Sentinels Ahsoka coming back into things, the whole reveal, uh, her talking about Anakin, um, Darth Maul, them going to that planet, which um, uh, is going to be one of the, like the, the Sith, one of the Sith kind of planets, dark side energy sort of thing, 
that's going to be interesting. Ezra with the, the green Kylo Ren-like lightsaber and stuff like that. That's the stuff that like I think everyone is waiting for. And so when you get an episode like this, that's about like space whales and doesn't really have a bunch of a character plot, it just is like, what, what, what are we waiting for? Why don't we get to the good stuff? So I'm just going to end it there. Just in, in the comments, let me know what your thoughts were on the episode. Did you, um, do you think I'm being overly harsh or do you just think it was not that great of an episode? Um, so that's been the review. Thanks for watching this video and bye.